Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Matt, thanks for stopping by the channel. Now this next fly in the Great Smoky Mountain series is called a red bud. You probably haven't heard of it, or you probably didn't get here by typing red bud fly pattern in YouTube. It's not that well known. It's very similar to the gray hackle peacock. It's a much more common pattern, can be tied in several different varieties. But tonight we are doing a Roger Lowe variant of a gray hackle peacock, and he's called it the red bud. What he did, he added a, a bead to it, put it on a curved hook, and changed the red tail from hackle fibers to either a tuft of synthetic or wool. So he made enough changes to give it a new name, hence the red bud. And legend has it that this fly does very well when the red bud trees are blooming. It's not a very difficult fly to tie. Most beginners can handle this one. If you got the material, piece of cake. So I think you're gonna like it. Let's get started. So there it is in the vise. I'm gonna be tying this on a size 16. It is a curved 1X short nymph hook and I've got a 2.4 millimeter tungsten bead on it. I want to put down a few wraps of 015 weight. If for nothing else, it doesn't necessarily need extra weight, but it helps hold that bead in and gives you a little bit more bulk around the thorax, helps you with a, get a better taper. So black thread, I'm using a 70 denier. I'm going to put a little dam behind it, put a few turns over the weight, then take it back to the bend of the hook. Okay, now let's tie in the tail. See this? This is a wool yarn. You could use a wool or a synthetic. That's one strand right there. You unspin that and the, the yarn I have actually turns into four of these small strands. So just catch a little bit of this in right here. Gonna have a few fuzzies we might have to trim. But it's a very, very sparse tail, just a hint of red, and well around the bend of the hook. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this part off. You could just bury it. We're going to be putting a peacock curl on the body, but it's just as easy to, to trim it right there. Okay, now for the body, three or four strands of peacock curl. I'm going to tied in from the stiff end. So I'll snip off an inch or so and catch this in right here. Go ahead and bury this and then take it to the back where I'm going to start the wraps. Okay, now I'm going to pull out, I've got about five inches of peacock curl right here. I'm going to pull out four or five inches of thread, make a little loop and secure that right there, bring my thread up here. I'm still holding this loop with my material hand. Now I'll pull this, these strands of peacock curl, just place them kind of in between these, this thread loop, and then I'm gonna spin it with my fingers. Spinning two strands of thread, four strands of peacock curl, not too tight, and now I'm going to Grab these type hackle pliers, any you got, I'm sure is fine. And grab that, you can give it a few more twists, just not too tight or they could break on you. Now you're gonna wrap up the body. We've got this peacock curl rope. Now one tip, after about every two or three wraps, you might need to spin it tighter because every wrap will you know, take one twist out of it. So, just keep that in mind as you wrap it on up. Okay, now when you've got that hurl wrapped all the way up just behind the bead, you don't need to leave much space right here. Go ahead and catch that in and snip this off. And we can go ahead and trim our tail now if we want. We could have done that already, but about less than a hook gap. It's just a tiny little sliver of red. 
Okay, now we're ready for the hackle. A couple more turns to secure that peacock. And the hackle, just small gray partridge. Feather like this, go ahead and pull the fluffies off and create a little tie-in point. Now, there is you do have one option here. You can leave it like this and make one wrap, or you could pull off all the fibers on one side and then probably make two wraps. I've done it both ways and you couldn't much tell the difference. What you probably don't want to do is make two full wraps with the feathers, the fibers on both sides. That will make it just a little bit, you know, too much hackle for this, this small of a fly. So go ahead and trim this excess off right there. And I'm gonna take these same hackle pliers that I wrapped that hurl with, grab this little stem, and I'm making one, one turn right here. So I'm starting at the top and we'll wrap one full turn and then stop again at the top. And two wraps will secure this. Now let's trim this stem. It's a little buggy looking right now and these fibers are long but that is, is how the fly should look. You want these fibers to come out down well past the point of the hook. So let's go ahead and a, a few turns here just to get these laying back. And we've got enough room behind our head there for, you know, a couple more wraps just to build this, get it even. And you might have enough room for a drop of head cement. I haven't been doing that. I've just been doing two three turn whip finishes and I think that will be secure enough. Now if you have any cleanup now's the time to do that. Snip the excess thread off right here and let's situate this in our hook. And there you go the red bud, very near the, the gray hackle peacock. So that's all folks. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.